Want to know how to get all these badges on your Discord profile? You're about to learn exactly how to unlock every single obtainable Discord badge in 2025 step by step. You can go from this to this. Let's get started. First is the Active Developer Badge, which is one of the most popular badges in 2025. To get it, you need to own a Discord bot that runs at least one slash command every 30 days. The bot must be verified under your account and you have to be listed as the bot's owner. Don't worry, I have a tutorial for this. Click the link in the description or the card on screen to follow a full walkthrough that shows you how to set up the bot with a pre-made command. Once your bot is running, you can go to the link in the description, select your bot and click the button to claim your badge. It will appear immediately on your profile. Next is the server booster badge, which appears the moment you boost any Discord server. To do this, open any server, click the down arrow next to the name and choose server boost. If you already have Discord Nitro, you can get two free boosts. You only need to use one to unlock the badge. This badge evolves based on your longest active boost streak. It starts out like this at one month, then upgrades to this at two months and continues to change the longer you keep boosting. If you ever stop boosting, your badge resets to your longest ever streak, not your current one. The Discord Nitro badge is automatically added to your profile when you subscribe to Discord Nitro. It disappears if your subscription expires and reappears if you renew. Keep in mind you can boost the server without having Discord Nitro. There are also evolving Nitro badges. These upgrade the longer you keep your Nitro active. After 1 month you unlock the bronze version, after 3 months silver, after 6 months gold, and at 12 months you unlock diamond. Then you unlock ruby, sapphire, and opal at longer milestones which you can see on screen. Each has a unique design and makes your profile stand out. However, if your Nitro expires, your progress resets and starts again when you resubscribe. Next is the quest badge, which is a part of Discord's quest system. To get it, open Discord and click the discover icon. Navigate to the quest tab and from there complete any available quest. This could be something like streaming a game, interacting with friends or completing a specific task. I would recommend completing a video quest as it's the easiest to do. Even better, choose one that you'll earn orbs on. This will allow you to also get the orb badge at the same time. After you claim 150 orbs through quests, you can unlock the orbs badge. This can be done by going to the shop, then going to orbs exclusive and claiming the orbs badge. Keep in mind quests rotate often so check back regularly for new ones. This will allow you to earn more orbs and potentially other items. By following this process you'll get the orb badge and the quest badge all in one go. Next is the hype squad house badge which are quick to unlock. Go to user settings, scroll down and click on hype squad. Take the short personality quiz and based on your answers you'll be assigned either bravery brilliance or balance. If you want to change your house, you can just retake the quiz. If you've already done the quiz, it will tell you what house you're currently in, but simply click this button to retake it and change your house. If you wish to be in a certain house, simply follow the instructions on screen and you'll get that house. Next is the legacy username badge, which shows that you're around before Discord removed tags from usernames. This was around 2022. To qualify, you must have manually chosen a global username before the username system changed. If Discord automatically changed it for you, meaning you created your account after 2022, you won't be able to receive the badge. If your account was created before 2022, or you're eligible to claim the badge, but it's not appearing on your profile, simply go to user settings, click profiles, scroll down and toggle on the legacy username badge. As you can see, it will now appear in your profile. If this option is not available to you, you are not eligible to claim the badge. Next up is the Bug Hunter badge, which was given to people who joined the Discord tester server and submit at least 10 valid, confirmed, and reproducible bug reports using the official tester form. These had to be original, not duplicates, and had to be real bugs. There was also a gold version of the badge for users who found and reported rare or security related bugs. As of 2025, you can no longer get either version of the Bug Hunter badge. The program is closed and the badge is no longer obtainable. If you want to get updates on when this badge will be available again, join the official Discord server link in the description called Discord Town Hall and go to the Badge FAQ channel. Last but not least is the Hyper Squad Events badge, which was given to users who represented Discord at real life events or hosted official Hyper Squad activities. This badge has been retired and is no longer available. Finally is the Discord Partner badge which was awarded to Discord owners of servers that were accepted into the partner program. To qualify, a server needed strong engagement, active moderation, and a thriving community. As of 2025, the partner program is currently closed, so this badge can't be earned right now.
While collecting badges can make your profile stand out, keep in mind that having a lot of rare badges can also make your account a bigger target for scammers, impersonators, or phishing attempts. At the end of the day, badges don't define your Discord account's worth and are just badges that appear on your profile. That's every badge you can earn in 2025, explained step by step. Some are quick and easy to get, others take a bit of setup, and some other badges are no longer obtainable. But now you know exactly what's possible and how to build a profile full of badges that actually mean something. If this guide helped you out, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Need help setting up your bot or claiming a badge? Join the support server link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.